Approximately 30 minutes later. All right, everyone. I'm back. Took you long enough. Now come on. Let's get the heck out of this airport and drive to a hotel. Geez, Brad. What do you have to be so grumpy all the time? Signoresi. You said our vehicle is somewhere around here. Yep. It sure is. In fact, you're standing right behind it. Um. I'm afraid I don't understand. I don't see it anywhere. It's the pink car that's right in front of you. Dummy. Wait. What? Are you seriously telling me that this is what you rented? I said I wanted either a truck or a jeep. Not this gay pile of trash. Oh. I know. I was about to rent a crew cab pickup truck until I saw this sitting in the lot and knew I just had to have it. I mean look at it. It's such a totes cute car. Totes cute? No. I can't even believe this is real life right now. Do you have any idea how stupid and girly I will look riding in this thing at all? Let alone driving it. People will make fun of me and no one would take me seriously. Oh my god Brad. Chill out. It's not like there's anything you can do about it now anyway. Just deal with it and accept the fact that you're going to have to drive around in a pink car for the time being. Deal with it. Oh. I'll deal with it, alright. Maybe it would be easier for me to do so you earned around to annoy me constantly. Come on gang. With the exception of your Essie. Get in the car and let's go find ourselves a hotel. Wait. What? No way. We're not going to just leave her here. Oh yes we are. Now just get in the freaking car now or it's ultra mega concussion time. Nips. Like I don't want to get a concussion. Fine. I'll get in the car. I can't believe we're doing this to poor Yarasi. Wow. Just wow. I can't believe Brad is- Hey! You almost just freaking run me over. Um, Brad. Like currently that was this strange black car behind us that's tailgating us and following us everywhere. Yes I am. It's probably just some douchebag that thinks it's funny to annoy people all time. One thing's for sure. If this idiot is still behind me when we arrive at a hotel, then I am gonna get out and beat the crap out of that. And speaking of hotels, I don't think your essay really ever made a reservation anywhere. So just be on the lookout for any nice looking hotels that we might be able to stay in. And speaking of your essay, why the heck did we have to get her in the airport parking garage? I seriously hope she is okay right now. Oh my god, Nickel. Would you just shut up about your essay already? She was being an annoying fucker and it got the point where I just had to do something about it. I'm pretty sure I would have gone insane had I let her stick with us for the entire trip. 15 minutes later. Hey Brad. There's some fancy looking building up ahead. I think it might be a hotel. Wow Carlos. You're right. I can't believe you actually did something useful for once. I say we go check this place out. Oh, so this clown actually decided to follow me all the way here. Time to give them a piece of my mind. Ah, can I help you with anything sir? Why the heck have you been tailgating me and following me around for the past 45 minutes? Explain yourself. Look man, I'm just a random Uber driver. The person in the back seat forced me to do it. Alright, let's see who's in the back seat then. Surprise, motherfucker! Oh my freaking mother of god! Yaresi! Did you seriously call in the Uber and have them follow me all the way here? Yep. I sure did. You thought you could get rid of me. But you are dead wrong. Oh my gosh, Yaresi. I'm so glad that you're safe and back with us. Shut the freak up, Nicole. I don't need you making this situation any worse. Ah. Uh, can we like just go check into the hotel or something? You know what? Sure. Let's just go check in. I'm still in disbelief that Yoresi managed to follow us all the way here. 
Hi. How may I help you guys? Well, we'd like to stay here for four nights. Are there any rooms available currently? Have you made a reservation? Um, no. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You have to make a reservation prior to stay in here. Have a nice day. Wait. If I gave you his credit card number, allowing you to buy anything you want, would you let us stay here without making a reservation? Yaresi, if you do that, I'm going to murder you in your sleep tonight. Oh, absolutely I would. All right. The number is 5412-7501-2345-0987. Yeah, Razzy, 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 holy blepping crap. I hate you so freaking much. You know what? That's it. I am so done with dealing with all of your crap. Maybe you'll shut up and stop causing misery for me if I destroy this dumb of a hotel. Hey, let me go. G R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R. Brad, you're not destroying this hotel. You really need to learn to control your anger. Now come on, let's just let this lady give us our room number and head to our room. Oh, that's right. Room 254 on the second floor is available for you guys. Guy with the purple shirt. Please don't hurt me. Okay. Thank you. Wow. This room is totes fancy. Like I know. This is awesome. Yeah. It sure is. Anyways. Is there anything that you guys want to do now that we've sorted out a place to stay? Like how about we go and find an all you can eat buffet somewhere and see who can eat the most food in one city? Yeah. I second that idea. Oh my god. Are you guys actually capable of thinking of anything besides food? Brad, be quiet. Jeez, Nickel. Stop acting like you're my mom. You can't control me and you should know that. Well, Christian, to answer your question, that's a good idea. But I have something I need to do first. You see, Brad promised to drink vinegar. And I'm going to film him doing it. Oh heck no. There is no way I'm going to suffer and humiliate myself in front of what could potentially be millions of people. Well Brad, I'm afraid it's too late to back out now. You already said you would do it. So it's best to just get it over with. Oh my god. I was being sarcastic you freaking idiot. I didn't actually think there was any way you would win the contest. <laughs> Whether you were being sarcastic or not. The bottom line is you said you would do this. Now come on. Let's just go get this over with. Give me one good reason why I should follow you. Well, if you don't, I'll go around shouting your credit card and social security number in public. Ha 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 ha. Okay. You know what? Fine. Let's just get this over with like you said. God. I can't believe I'm about to do this. 3, 2, 1, drink up. It tastes so freaking bad. Words cannot describe how much I hate you right now, Yarezi. You know what? I can't contain my anger anymore. Time to destroy this crappy hotel room to teach you and the rest of the idiot gang a lesson. <laughs> Well, so much for our fancy hotel room. Um, like now can we go find an all-you-can-eat buffet? Yes, Christian. We can now go to your stupid buffet. Let's all get in the car and get this crap over with. Jeez. I think this just might be the worst trip of my entire life. So you Rassi. Like have you found any good-looking places yet? Yes, actually. There's this one place that's five miles from us that looks to be decent. Brad, I'll give you directions on how to get to it. Ugh. Okay. When the gang arrived at the restaurant. Wow. Seriously, Yoresi. I thought you said this place was decent. Not some run-down shack in the hood. Well, Brad. 
I did my best. Okay. I'm sure this place is fine. We just have to give it a chance. Like I agree. As long as the food here's good. We're happy, right, Carlos? That's right. Whatever. You idiots can just go in and enjoy the food yourselves. I'm not even that hungry. So I'd rather go out and have fun by filming myself pranking people in the hood. Pranking people in the hood. I'm pretty sure that's how you get beaten up, stabbed, or shot. Oh, it'll be fine, Nickel. It's not like I'm making you join me or anything. Wait. You're going to be pranking people in the hood. That sounds like a perfect opportunity to shout Hell Hitler in public. As you said you would do. Yaresi. There is no way I'm doing that. I don't want to look like a freaking neo-Nazi. Oh my god. Just suck it up for once and do it. Besides, you already told me you would. Alright. Fine. I'll give in to your stupid demands and shout Hell Hitler in public. Now can all of you dummies please just get out of my sight. I'm so sick of you all. Like jeez man. Okay. Man. I still can't believe that out of everywhere we could have gone. Those dummies just had to choose this place. I don't think I'll ever understand how a place like this could be more appealing than a place such as Hollywood. Oh well. I guess all I can do now is suck it up and do this prank video. Hey Concussion Army. It's Fake Bread back at it again with another video. Today I'm going to be pranking people in the hood by roasting the crap out of them. But first, at the demand of Yaresi, I have to shout Hell Hitler in public. As you may have seen in one of my other videos, Yaresi won a trip to LA, which is where I'm at now. When she first told me that she entered in the contest, she seemed totally convinced that she was going to win. So, I sarcastically told her that if that were the case, I would drink vinegar and shout Hell Hitler during the trip. And here we are now. Anyways let's just get this over with. Hell Hitler! Well, no one seems to care. Hey, did you hear what that guy just said? He must be one of those neo-Nazis. Yeah, let's beat the crap out of him to teach him a lesson. Hey whoa 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 it's just a prank bro. So Brad, how did the pranking go? Well. I wasn't even able to do my prank in the first place. When I shouted Hell Hitler like you demanded I do. Some guys got offended and beat me up and destroyed my camera. I swear to God you're a If I had a weapon right now I would murder you. And I'm not even joking. Well Brad, chill out. How about we just forget it happened and go somewhere else fun. Speaking of that, does anyone have any ideas? Like how about we go to another buffet? Christian, are you freaking serious? There are other places in Los Angeles besides restaurants, you know. God, at this rate you'll be on my 600 pound life in no time. Oh, I have an idea. I heard that there are lots of good casinos around this area. So why don't we go to one of those? Well, normally I would say no because casinos terrify me. However, since we are spending the money given to us as part of the contest on this trip instead of my own money, I can't make an exception. Now come on everyone. Let's go. After about an hour at the casino. Hey Brand. I have a quick favor to ask you. What is it? Okay. So I might have already spent like $2,000 on a slot machines, and basically, I'm worried that if I spend any more of the money from the contest that we won't have enough for the rest of the trip. So, do you think you could maybe let me go to the ATM outside and withdraw some of your own money? Yaresi, I'm not doing drugs. So I don't know why you think I am. What? I never s- Well you'd have to think I was high to believe that there was any chance that I would say yes to that question. The answer is no. 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 No, I know that if I were to let you do that, my bank account would be completely empty within a matter of hours. Now screw off and stop bothering me. But Brad, are you sure? I promised I'll only take like $50 and after that I'll be done completely. 
Plus, if you let me use some of your money, I will get a job and pay you back. And then buy nothing but Coca-Cola for you with the money I have left over. Wow. Really? I'll do anything for some good Coca-Cola. All right. Never mind what I said earlier. You can withdraw $50. But it better be only $50. Anything were and I'll give you an ultra mega concussion. Understand? Wow. Really? Thanks so much. In yes. I understand. Man. I'm probably going to regret this. Man. Getting Brad to believe that I was only spending $50 of his cash seemed to do the trick. However, I actually with pure $2,500 from his bank account. And I'm going to bet it all on this slot machine. Since I was lucky enough to win this whole trip, I should be lucky enough to win this bet. So I'm sure everything will be fine. Come on, come on. Please win. <coughs> Oh no! Brad is going to literally kill me. Um. Hey Brad. Dang it Yoresi. What is it now? Alright. Well I figured I should tell you this now since you're inevitably going to find out and give me a concussion. So. I. Uh. I might have just wasted $2,500 from your bank account on a slot machine. Haha. Ha. Nice one. I know this is a joke because you only withdrew $50 like you said you would do. Right. Um. Right. Isn't that right? Um. Well. I'm afraid not. Wait. What? So you're telling me I just lost $2,500 because you stupidly decided to bet it all on a slot machine? Unfortunately. That will be correct. Oh 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 You have got to be kidding me. I really hope I'm dreaming right now. Yaresi. You are such an idiotic piece of crap. And I have had enough. You will never be allowed to touch my bank account ever again. And on top of that, I will destroy everything you like once we get back from this trip. It's concussion time for you. And now. It's time to destroy this entire freaking casino to take out my anger. Los Angeles police tried to arrest fake Brad for destruction of property, but he gave them both the concussions and run.